reached the end of Explore Oita Japan Season 4. We hope you've had a lot of fun and also learned a lot of new information for your next trip to the Oita Prefecture. Until we meet next time, here's our recommendation for your next adventure in Oita Prefecture month by month. If you plan to visit Oita Prefecture in April, then you have to check out the Beppu Hato Onsen Festival. The festival is usually held in the first week of April, and as Beppu is the top hot spring city in Japan, attending this festival means you will be soaking wet with hot spring water. Late March and early April is also the famous Sakura season, and there are several stunning locations across Oita Prefecture where you can see the beautiful pink blossoms. During May, the weather will be very nice here in Oita. It is the perfect time to go outside for hiking or cycling in the vibrant spring foliage. There are two areas that we would like to recommend, the Kunisaki Peninsula and the Asokuju National Park. In the beginning of May, Japan has a one-week-long holiday called Golden Week. If you have kids, you cannot miss joining the event for children, especially at theme parks. June is the rainy season here in Oita, so make sure you pack an umbrella as you see gorgeous iris and hiragana flower fields and dazzling firefly experiences. Or take your adventure indoors and see one of the many beautiful museums in the area, such as the Oita Prefectural Art Museum in Oita City, or the various Attack on Titan exhibitions in Hita City. July in Japan is summer and it's hot hot, but it's the best timing to do water activities like canyoning and going to the beach. Oitur has an abundance of clear water streams and waterfalls, which are perfect hideaways from the summer heat. The beaches in Oitur are mostly calm, suitable for relaxing explorations such as saps and kayaking. If you are into traditional festivals and fireworks, you should come to Oita in late July and August. There are plenty of summer festivals for you to enjoy. Among those, Hita Gion Festival in Hita City is one of the most extravagant Gion festivals in Oita Prefecture. Also, Oita Tanabata Festival is a not-to-be-missed festival for everyone to enjoy. And if you love nature, come to Oita in September and enjoy farming activities such as grape picking and bird picking as well as outdoor adventures such as paragliding, camping, and hiking. And of course, don't forget the outdoor shows by Drum Tao at Tao Nooka. October is the culinary season in Japan, which means food, more food, more delicious food. My personal favorite would be the Karage Festival where over 60 different specialist shops and restaurants showcase their expertise. Late October to early November is also the peak time for autumn foliage in Oita. November also features bamboo lantern festivals in many temples and old districts across the prefecture. During December and January, there are a lot of events worth braving the cold for, like the Beppo Christmas Fantasy Fireworks and New Year celebrations at shrines and temples across the prefecture. Also, as Oita will be in mid-winter, make sure to try skiing at Kuju and beat the cold with a soak in one of Oita's abundant hot springs. If you love traditional Japanese crafts, you should come to Oita in February, where you will see massive displays of Hina dolls throughout Oita Prefecture. Did you know that in February, sakuras also bloom? We have the Kawazu Sakura tree, which blooms in late February. And following that comes the Somi Yoshino Sakura tree, which blooms in late March. Those are actually the trees that Japan is really famous for. That's it for this season. We hope you found the best time to visit Oita Prefecture. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, and viewing our videos. See you soon!